Okay, look what I'm working on. I'm so excited. It's, I've got some acetate on this custom guitar job. What? Wait, this way? So it's like upright. I can't ever figure out. It's always like opposite. Anyway, I'm working on this. And while I was working on it, I was listening to some music. Should I like hold it up? And she's like, yeah, this is what I was doing, guys. Like, totally cool. What else? <laughs> Um, I was thinking about some of the calls that I've had with my clients lately while I was working on this project, and um, I'm still working on it, but I figured I'd, I'd share what was going through my mind while it's here and it's fresh, and there's this, this, scare, this fear, actually, that a lot of my clients have that I know that they're not the only ones, that, that if they take care of themselves, aka get into the studio and fuel their you know, artistic soul, their creative soul, that it, you know they're going to get in the studio and they're going to be they're going to isolate themselves they're going to get into flow which is amazing it's like better than sex like we're we're not even kidding here like as artists like getting in the studio and getting in flow and getting like looking up and being like oh shiza three hours has passed right that's the bliss for artists and this crosses the board past being a creative this is like the illogical like illogical fear that by doing something small for ourselves, taking a few hours for ourselves, taking one day for ourselves, taking five minutes for ourselves will somehow leave us unhappy and alone. We will be neglecting the people in our lives that we care most about or um, they're going to get mad at us or we're not even going to realize that we've spent four days in the studio and we're gonna emerge out like gremlins or something. I just wanna say that this is, for me personally, this is really, it, it's so relatable. But here's the thing, here's what I wanna compare it to for every artist out there, for every person who wants to take, uh, take care of themselves, is it's kind of like saying, okay, you know what, I'm gonna take a bubble bath tonight. And I'm, not, I'm kind of terrified that taking a bubble bath is gonna leave me unhappy and alone like I'm just gonna forget to leave the bubble bath and I'm just gonna be in the bubble bath and I'll never and my friends will stop liking me and my family will stop loving me and I will just start I will be really unhappy and I'll just forget that I was in the bathtub and that there's an outside world like this is literally the thought press process that for some reason comes up when we talk about self-care like oh I really want to spend a day you know cleaning up whatever space or organizing a space or getting my nails did or getting a massage or doing whatever it is like getting to the studio like I was talking about because I'm in the studio well working on a project right what like we're not gonna forget that that there's an outside world we're not gonna we might miss a meal because we're in flow and we're so excited and we're in that blissful state but this this fear I would any if you're an artist or a creative or just you know, a person trying to find some time for yourself and you feel like you're going to be alone and unhappy because you do this, I really challenge you to like remind yourself of the bathtub analogy, like the bubble bath analogy, which is like, you're not going to forget to get out of the bubble bath. You're not going to be like, you're not going to cram yourself in that bubble bath and be like, man, this is so great. I never realized that I forget that there's an outside world and that there's people I love and I have relationships to build and work on and nurture. No, you're gonna you're gonna be in the bubble bath, you're gonna take the bubble bath, you're gonna thoroughly enjoy it, and you're gonna get out in 15 to 15 minutes to an hour. And if you stay in longer than that, you're gonna start seeing, like you stay in for a certain amount of time, you start seeing the prunes on your fingers and you're like, hmm, I should probably get out. Yeah, this is about time. Let me dry off and get back to my life. But you feel rejuvenated. There's this like weird myth that once we go into self-care mode, we'll never be able to get ourselves out. And I can tell you, here's another example. I went to Florida um, two weeks ago, I think, two or three weeks ago. I spent two days, I spent, I took a two extra days in Florida. The, the remaining three were for business, but I took two days before I went. And I was just like, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm alone, I'm gonna be on the beach, I'm just gonna chill, it's gonna be my self care time. Literally, after the first day and a half of just like being like, oh, this is great, like I love it. I literally wanted to get back to work. I literally wanted to go out and have a phone call, talk to some of my clients and re-engage with the world. Like there's a point where we just, 
we have to recharge our batteries. And we'll remember, we'll get the urge to go do the things that we need to do for ourselves to balance things out. So for I want to debunk the myth of like, if you go on a vacation, you're never going to come back. Like you're never going to want to come back. Or if you get into the studio, you're just going to come out like three days later, like a gremlin. <laughs> and if you get into, if you take a bubble, it's like the bubble bath thing. I'm like, you will know to get out. You're like, I'm soggy. I, I don't want to be in the water anymore. You'll get that same feeling except for you'll feel rejuvenated and excited. So Anyway, I was working on the guitar, which I'm really, really excited about. Like, I'm going to show you one more time. Like, I'm, like, really excited about it. There's an acetate on it, so I'm not working actually on the guitar um, yet. But I'm going to be burning this in. But, like, I'm working in the studio. Hey, I remember that there are people outside in the outside world, and I was like, hey, I want to have a conversation. So this whole idea that self-care is going to isolate you and it's going to take you away from the people that you love and the things that you care most about outside of, outside of your creative soul or outside of your self-care routine, like, total crap. Um, anyway, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about your self-care routine, like, what's going on with you guys. Um, so, like, if you want to talk, you can go schedule a time with me on my website. I, like, linked it there. Because I would love to see, like, what is what are you struggling with? Is it is it the struggle to find time for yourself? Because I feel like that is so common. Like, you might have your work day – and then you have your friend and family time, but where's the me time, right? And the me time is where we rejuvenate and we basically come out a better, more productive, more exciting, more fulfilled, happy person. So um, I would love to have a conversation with you. Um, so you go to apopstudios.com and then you like scroll the whole way down. You can like schedule a time to talk to me. It'll be exciting. All right. Um, happy Saturday. It's really nice and cool here in Philadelphia. Um, so I've got all my windows open. It's just like a nice breeze coming through. So I hope wherever you're at, it's nice and breezy, nice and cool, not too hot, not too cold, just perfect like the porridge. <laughs> All right. See you guys later.